Hey, Logan here, creator of Copilot for Obsidian. It's been a while since I posted my last video, but I'm back now with some big plans. Copilot for Obsidian has become one of the top AI plugins for Obsidian. It has just crossed 180,000 downloads. If you haven't tried it yet, please give it a try. I've just released plugin version 2.6.0. There are two significant changes. First of all, we have mobile support. Huge shout out to Gianluca for his amazing contribution. Secondly, I redesigned how models work in the plugin. Now, besides a few built-in predefined models, you have a dynamic list of models you can define, similar to how it works in Cursor, the viral AI code editor. Let me quickly show you how it works. Go to Copilot settings, and you'll see this table of models. There are some built-in models like GPT-40 and Mini, um, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Gemini, and Azure OpenAI. Click on Add Custom Model, you'll see Model Name, Provider, Base URL, and API Key. These are some built-in providers. When you use third-party OpenAI Format Provider, you fill in the Base URL and API Key as overrides. I'll show you that in a bit. Let me first demonstrate adding model from Open Router. First, go to Open Router's website, find your model name. Note that they used to have a lot of free quota, but now they may require payment for many of their models. Make sure the model name and API key are entered correctly. Pick Open Router as provider, then add model. You'll see I have Open Router API key down below, so I don't need to enter them in custom model. Now let's see if it's working. Okay, let's do another one from Open Router. The Llama 3.1405B. Don't forget to save and reload. This is a bigger model, so it may take longer to get the result. There's one way to make sure this is the correct model. So open debug info and you'll see the model is indeed Llama 3.1405B. Now let me demonstrate adding a Grok model. Grok models are super duper fast. If you haven't tried them yet, I highly recommend trying them out. I'm not going to enter the API key under the Grok field, but under custom model. So you see both ways work. This is so satisfying. For local models, you can use Olama or LM Studio. Make sure you set them up correctly by following the local copilot guide. For Olama, same deal, model name, provider, no need for an API key, and add model. Save and reload. Now I'm using Llama 3 from Olama. Success. All right, now let me add an LM Studio model. The new LM Studio requires you to specify the model name, so you can get it here. Don't forget to turn on course. Select LM Studio in the provider, click Add and Save. Again, you can verify the model being used in debug info. You may have noticed that there's an extra column called course 
in our model table. Let me demonstrate by turning off course in LM Studio. You see all these course errors here. Whenever you see this kind of error for whatever provider you have, just go to the model table and turn on course. Now the course errors are gone. One caveat is that this is using Obsidian API's request URL method. It doesn't support streaming at the moment. So to avoid course for some providers, we lose streaming. If you'd like streaming support, please upload this feature request on Obsidian's forum. It will help the official team prioritize this feature. Next, let me demonstrate how you can add any third-party OpenAI format APIs. Just enter the correct base URL. Here, I'm using Olama as an example. The base URL is localhost 11343 v v1. In this case, it doesn't require any API key, but in your case, you may have to put in your API key. Here you can see it's heading our local Olama endpoint correctly. You can use this OpenAI format provider for any third-party OpenAI compatible API. Next, let me show you how you can do the same for embedding models. We have some built-in embedding models from OpenAI Cohere and Olama. One very strong embedding model is the Voyage 2, offered by Voyage AI. Again, select third-party OpenAI format provider. You can find their endpoint URL on their website. Don't forget to fill in the API key. Set it to Voyage 2, save and reload. Switching to Vault QA mode, it successfully triggers indexing, so success. Let me try ask a simple question. Who is Mike? Okay, it works. It is retrieving from my docs, you see here. This is recorded on my old iPad. We can pretty much do everything on uh, mobile, the same as on desktop. Right now, custom prompts and vector index, they don't support Obsidian Sync uh, at the moment. But this feature is coming next. There are some significant upgrades to the chat and QA experience in the next few weeks. Stay tuned. You are also welcome to suggest features on GitHub. If you like the project, please consider sponsoring it on GitHub or buy me coffees to help me keep it going. Link in the description. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Thank you.